Have you ever had a game where your opponent's king is on the run, but you couldn't find the winning idea to finish the game? We can avoid these situations if we can catch our opponent in a mating net. A mating net is when your pieces work together to prevent the enemy king from escaping a checkmate attack. In this position, black sees the chance to trap white's bishop and plays a4. Not realizing that black's king is trapped in a mating net. White's bishop prevents the black king from moving, and after queen h5, white threatens checkmate on h7. After the forced h6, black blocks the immediate checkmate, but creates a weakness on g6. Can you see how white can force checkmate in two moves? If you notice black's king is stuck in a mating net after queen g6, great job! White threatens checkmate on h7 again, and after h takes g5, white finishes the game with queen h5. Checkmate. Let's take a look at another example. In this position, Estonian Grandmaster Paul Karras unleashes an incredible tactic, starting with knight takes e3. Black captures a pawn and forks the queen and rook. White's best move is to allow black to win more material by moving the queen to safety, but white misses black's main idea and captures the knight with f takes e3. Grandmaster Karras sacrificed the knight to create a mating net after the second piece sacrifice, bishop takes g3 check. If white refuses the sacrifice with king g1, black forces checkmate anyway after bishop h2 check. Since king f2 allows queen h4 checkmate, white is forced to play king takes h2, which leads to the same checkmate as in the game with queen e5. After white accepts the sacrifice with king takes g3, black forces checkmate with queen g5 check. If king f2, black forces the king to the same checkmating square as in the game, g1, with queen h4 check. In the game, white played king h2, and after queen e5 check, king g1, black finishes the game with queen g3 check, with checkmate to follow on the next turn. Let's take a look at one more position together. Not all mating nets require forcing moves from the beginning to the end. During an aggressive attack, sometimes a quiet, Positional move needs to be played to weave the mating net. In this position, Grandmaster Tigran Petrosian finds an incredible queen sacrifice leading to checkmate after queen takes f6 check. Black's king is lured up the board with king takes f6. And after bishop e5 check, white prevents the king from retreating to safety. If black plays king f5, Black walks into a direct mating net after rook f4 check, king g5, bishop f6 check, king h6, and rook h4. Checkmate. Petrosian's opponent, Grandmaster Pachman, played king g5. Although Black's king is very exposed, there is not a forced series of checks to win the game. Petrosian played the quiet move, Bishop g7. This quiet move creates an incredible mating net, as black's king cannot retreat. Grandmaster Pachman resigned, because white is threatening h4 check, followed by delivering checkmate with the light squared bishop. For example, if black plays knight f5, trying to protect the king from h4 check, white plays h4 check anyway, so that after knight takes h4, G takes h4 check. Black has two options, both leading to immediate checkmate. If king f5, bishop h3 is checkmate. Or black can play king h5, allowing bishop f3. Checkmate. Another try is e5. Opening up black's light squared bishop, but after h4 check, once again, king f5 loses to bishop h3 checkmate. And after king h5, bishop f3 check, bishop g4, and bishop takes g4 is checkmate. 
After exploring these mating attacks, it's your turn to weave a mating net. <laughs>